Connie Smith, born August 14, 1941, is one of the shining icons of American country music. She is not only a talented singer but also an excellent musician, with a decades-long career, leaving a deep mark in the hearts of fans and artists. Smith was born in Elkhart, Indiana, and grew up in a musical family. From a young age, she was exposed to country music and quickly showed her musical talent. Smith's sweet and emotional voice attracted the attention of many music producers, helping her quickly rise and achieve many remarkable achievements. Connie Smith's career flourished in the 1960s and 1970s, with a series of chart-topping hits. Songs like Once a Day, Then and Only Then, and If I Talk to Him not only brought Smith fame but also became classics, closely associated with the history of brass music. Countryside. Her voice is highly appreciated for its warmth, inspiration and excellent ability to convey emotions. In addition, Smith is also known for his creative songwriting ability, contributing to enriching the country music repertoire. However, life is not just about joy and success. In 2023, Connie Smith received shocking news. She was diagnosed with a very serious case of nasopharyngeal cancer. This news not only shocked her family and friends but also shocked the country music fan community. Nasopharyngeal cancer is a dangerous disease that directly affects the ability to sing and communicate, which further increases anxiety and grief. But with a strong spirit and perseverance, Connie Smith decided to face her illness resiliently. She began the treatment process with an unshakable will, hoping to overcome this challenge. During this time, Smith remained optimistic and continued to contribute to music in any way she could. She participates in online music projects, records new songs, and shares inspiring stories about her fight against the disease. Connie Smith's career and life have always been an inspiration to generations of artists and fans. Even though she is facing illness, she still continues to spread her passion and love for music. Difficulties do not diminish the light in her soul but on the contrary, highlight her strength and determination. Connie Smith has proven that, no matter how many challenges life brings, as long as we have faith and courage, we can overcome them all. Looking back at Connie Smith's life and career, no one can deny her great contributions to country music. Her songs are not just songs, but also stories and true emotions, touching the hearts of millions of people. Her resilience in the face of illness is also a valuable lesson about will and courage. Connie Smith, with all she has gone through and achieved, will forever be a living legend in the hearts of her fans. Her melodies and lyrics will continue to resonate, inspiring many generations to come. And although the fight against nasopharyngeal cancer is still difficult, faith in recovery and prayers from fans will always accompany her, bringing strength to overcome all difficulties. Connie Smith, famous country music singer, has gone through four marriages in her life. The first time, in 1961, she married Jerry Smith, an iron analyst at Interlake Iron Corporation in Beverly, Ohio. This marriage gave them a son, named Darren Justin, born on March 9, 1963. Darren grew up and in the late 1970s he went to Europe to become a missionary. Currently, Darren Justin has changed his career and become a reputable psychologist. Connie and Jerry's first marriage ended in the mid-1960s. After their divorce, Connie quickly entered a second marriage to Jack Watkins, the guitarist in her touring band. From this relationship, they had a son. However, this marriage did not last long, as just under a year later, they decided to break up. Undeterred by the turbulence in her marriage, Connie Smith continued to seek happiness with her third husband, Marshall Haynes, a telephone repairman. This marriage took place in the early 1970s and Marshall frequently toured with Connie in her shows. This not only helps strengthen the relationship between the couple but also greatly supports Connie's music career. From this marriage, they had three daughters, creating a large and happy family. Family life with three daughters along with frequent touring has certainly provided many enriching experiences for Connie. Even though she faced challenges and difficulties in her marriage, Connie Smith continued to strive in her music career and personal life. From these experiences, 
She learned many things and became more and more mature, not only as a talented artist but also as a devoted mother. Connie Smith is a living testament to the power of perseverance and the ability to overcome life's difficulties. Even though she went through many broken marriages, she continued to rise and find joy and happiness in life and career. Her marriages, whether short or long, left indelible marks in the life of a talented and strong female artist. In February 2021, in an interview with the New York Times, Connie Smith revealed that she was diagnosed with COVID-19. Through difficult days, she had to be hospitalized, facing sepsis and pneumonia, two of the most serious complications of the virus. However, with resilience and determination, she eventually fully recovered. Connie remembers the scary moment when she was taken to the hospital, clearly feeling the fatigue and shortness of breath racking her body. They asked me if my heart would stop, if I wanted to be revived, and I said of course, I don't want to become a COVID statistic, she shared with Nashville Scene. This quote not only shows her determination but also serves as a poignant reminder of the seriousness of the disease. During her hospital days, Connie faced many harsh challenges. Sepsis had weakened her body significantly, while pneumonia made every breath a struggle. But with support from a dedicated medical team and unwavering support from family and friends, she gradually pulled through. Throughout her treatment, Connie experienced many different emotions, from anxiety and fear to hope and finally gratitude. She clearly feels the value of every breath, every moment of life and understands that health is the most valuable asset that each person needs to cherish. Those days were really challenging for me, but they also taught me a lot about resilience and gratitude, she added. After leaving the hospital, Connie continued her recovery journey at home. She must follow a strict nutrition and exercise regimen to regain her health. With each passing day, she feels stronger, both physically and mentally. The support of relatives and friends is a great source of motivation to help her overcome difficulties. Besides sharing her story, Connie also emphasized the importance of prevention and vaccination. She encouraged everyone to follow safety measures, wear masks, Keep distance and get vaccinated when given the opportunity. Don't wait until you or someone you love gets sick to realize the importance of prevention, she warns. Connie's story is not only a testament to resilience and the will to overcome adversity, but also a reminder of the importance of health and community support. She hopes that through her story, people will be more aware of the dangers of COVID-19 and work together to prevent the spread of the virus. Looking back on the past time, Connie not only feels lucky but also feels a change in her thinking and way of life. She learned to appreciate simple things, find joy in small moments and always maintain faith in the future. Her story is a great inspiration for many people, especially those who are facing illness and hardship. Finally, Connie deeply thanks the medical team who saved her life, her family and friends who have always been by her side and everyone who has supported and encouraged her throughout her journey. She believes that, with solidarity and compassion, we will overcome this pandemic and build a better team. Stigwood saw potential in the group's unique sound and helped guide them through their evolution from a psychedelic pop band to a disco group. Their reinvention paid off in the mid-1970s with the release of the album Main Course, which included hit singles like Jive Talkin' and Nights on Broadway. However, it was their work on the soundtrack for the 1977 film Saturday Night Fever that truly solidified their place in music history. The album, featuring the Bee Gees' distinct falsetto harmonies and catchy disco beats, sold over 40 million copies worldwide and became one of the best-selling soundtracks of all time. The Bee Gees' contribution to the soundtrack helped define the sound of the late 1970s and cemented their status as pop icons. In 1970, he married Linda Gray, and together they had five children. However, their marriage faced challenges, and they separated in the late 1970s, although they did not officially divorce until 1982. Gibb has since remarried and has been with his current wife, Linda Gibb, for over 50 years. Tragically, 
Gibb has also had to cope with the deaths of his younger brothers Robin and Maurice, who both passed away in the early 2000s. These losses were devastating for Gibb and had a significant impact on his personal and professional life. Additionally, Gibb has struggled with alcohol and drug addiction over the years. In the 1970s, he was known for his partying lifestyle and substance abuse, which he has since spoken openly about. Despite these struggles, Gibb has continued to create music and perform, and he remains a beloved and influential figure in the music industry. After the Bee Gees disbanded in 2003 following the death of Maurice Gibb, Barry Gibb continued his music career as a solo artist. He released his first solo album, Now Voyager, in 1984, which showcased his talent as a songwriter and his ability to create hit songs in various genres. He also collaborated with other artists, including Barbara Streisand, with whom he recorded the hit duet Guilty, and Michael Jackson, with whom he co-wrote and produced the song All In Your Name. Gibbs contributions to these collaborations helped further cement his status as a musical icon. Gibbs legacy is also defined by his impact on popular music. As a member of the Bee Gees, he helped define the sound of the 1970s with his distinctive falsetto harmonies and catchy disco beats. The Bee Gees music influenced a wide range of artists and genres, from pop and rock to R&B and hip-hop. Gibbs' continued success as a solo artist and his collaborations with other artists also showcases his versatility and enduring relevance in the music industry. With his distinctive voice, songwriting talent, and unparalleled success, Barry Gibb remains a beloved figure and an essential part of the history of popular music. Barry Gibb's life and career are a story of perseverance, talent, and resilience. From his early days in Manchester to his time in Australia and eventual return to England with the Bee Gees, Gibbs' music has touched millions of people around the world. His collaborations with Robert Stigwood and other artists helped shape the sound of popular music in the 1970s and beyond. Gibbs' legacy also extends beyond his work with the Bee Gees, as he continued to make music as a solo artist and collaborate with other musicians throughout his career. Despite personal struggles with addiction and the loss of his brothers, Gibbs' passion for music has never wavered, and his talent and impact on popular music continue to be felt today. His influence can be heard in the work of countless artists across genres and generations, and his contribution to the history of popular music cannot be overstated. Gibbs' life and career are a testament to the power of music to inspire, connect, and endure. Throughout his career, Gibb has been recognized for his contributions to the music industry. He and his brothers were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1997, and he has received numerous other awards and honors, including a knighthood in 2018. Barry Gibb, a legendary musician, and songwriter has faced his share of personal hardships and tragedies throughout his life.